been hearing a lot lately about burnout. I wanted to make sure I address this issue because it is completely avoidable. Do your athletes know they should be working out, running laps, or getting themselves to practice and training, but sometimes complain they just don't feel like it? Maybe their coach is pushing them hard to work on their game because they see some real talent there. Well, they may be facing the classic signs of burnout, and it can start out with pressure from coaches, parents, or peers. It may also come from specializing in one sport too early and not playing all the sports and activities that they love. Now there's plenty of coaches and experts that say athletes need to specialize at an early age and work hard at it exclusively in year round. I get that. The truth is that this works great for some athletes, but for others it absolutely does not. And it's certainly not the only road to achieve greatness. Let's look at a famous player who started at an early age, Tiger Woods. He started playing at the age of two, and he dedicated his life to becoming a great golfer. So right now I'd like you to meet Tiger Woods and his father, Earl Woods. <laughs> How old are you, Tiger? Daddy. Two. Two? A tiger loved golf so much that his dad would let him hit balls or go to the course to practice only after he had done his homework and chores. There was no pushing him to practice. Practicing golf was a reward to Tiger. Talk about motivation and dedication. Tiger took that work ethic and he built himself up to one of the game's best, even today. Now, on the other hand, there's an Australian golfer, Greg Norman, who didn't even start playing golf until he was 16 years old. And he went on to win 70 tournaments on the professional tour. He was ranked number one for 331 weeks straight. Now it is true that once Norman started playing golf, he went all out to be a great golfer, working on his game every chance he got. But he loved all sports and competed in rugby, swimming, cricket, and squash all throughout his youth. Now, some coaches believe that being a well-rounded athlete in the younger years actually gives you an advantage when you do eventually specialize in your chosen sport. The big question, what age to specialize? You know, it's ideally going to be up to you, the athlete. And when, they, when that athlete feels in charge and makes that choice, then they'll most likely want to practice without any pressure from coaches or parents. Somewhere in the mid-teens is probably the best time to make that decision, but by allowing them to follow their heart's desire. Too many kids who may have otherwise been great and end up quitting because they just get tired. Tired of the pressure, tired of the injuries and, and the overbearing workouts and getting up early. You know, especially if they haven't completely bought into it. If your athlete is as dedicated as Tiger was to his sport and really enjoys it, then by all means. They should go for it, no matter what age they're at. But if they're playing one sport, but love others and want to try them too, then maybe a little balance in life is the right thing. Make sure they're being honest with you and feel comfortable to speak up about what they want. And they should not be playing their sport for someone else. If they play it for themselves, then their natural talents will shine. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.